More than 400 crime survivors traveling to Tallahassee calling for more protections for crime victims. Eight on your side's Beth Rousseau joining us live in Tampa this morning with some of the changes that they want to see. Good morning, Beth. Good morning, Avery and Chris. So of dozens of survivors loaded up the buses here around 430 this morning and left Tampa to head to the survivor speak rally in Tallahassee. They say it's a really long day, but the cause makes the trip more than worthwhile. Jacqueline Sadler Daniels doesn't mind waking up when it's still dark if it's for her son. She says Dwayne was shot and killed at a block party in Tampa. It affects us every day, every second, every every moment. It's never a moment that we're not thinking about Dwayne. It's never a moment his siblings are not thinking, or his family, or his father is not thinking about my son. The mom is among the dozens from the Bay Area making the trip to Tallahassee to join hundreds of other crime victims and their loved ones for the Survivors Speak rally. It's not a fraternity that we want to get anybody in, but it's a fraternity that it needs to be heard. The group is calling on lawmakers to support bipartisan bills they believe improve the state's probation system, emphasize the importance of sealing records for low-level crimes, and provide more protection for victims and their families. It allows families of teen murder victims to have three days off uh, to you know, make arrangements for their loved ones, to make their houses safer if they've been victimized at the house, and just to have some sympathy and empathy for those families. Causes this mom says are worth the effort. To continue to fight for justice, not just for my son, but for everybody. An important day for these families. It started really early, 4.30 this morning. The buses rolled out. The rally itself is in Tallahassee at 11 o'clock today, and leaders tell us that they're going to be back here tonight by 8 o'clock. We're live in Tampa, Beth Russo, 8 on your side.